Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss annuities and retirement accounts. The specific topics we will be discussing are define the basic terms involved with annuities, find the amount of an annuity, find the amount of an annuity due, understand retirement accounts, and find the amount of a retirement account. Let's begin by defining the terms. An annuity is a series of equal payments made at regular intervals. The payment period is the time between the payments. The term of the annuity is the time from the first payment through the last payment. The amount of the annuity is the total amount of all payments and interest in the account at the end of the term. And an IRA is an individual retirement account. It is an annuity that an employee establishes as a retirement account for himself. Let's find the amount of the annuity in which $6,900 is deposited each quarter into an account paying 8% compounded quarterly, and these accounts are made for four years. The rate per period will be 8% divided by 4, which is 2%, and the number of periods will be 4 years times 4 quarters each year is 16 periods. In order to find the amount, we will need to go to the amount of an annuity table. In the amount of an annuity table, we have the amount of an annuity here in which we have our interest rates across the top, which go from 1% to 12%, and we have the number of periods in the columns down the left-hand side, which go from 1 period to 50 periods. We are looking for the column headed 2%, and we're looking down to the row in which we have 16 periods. And that value is 18.63929. So the amount of our annuity will be $6,900 multiplied times 18.63929. Which is $128,611.10. In order to find the interest earned, we will look at the total deposits. And the total deposits is 16 at $6,900 each, which is $110,400. So the interest, then, will be the difference of $128,611.10, subtract $110,400. So the interest earned here is $18,200.10. To find the amount of an annuity due, step one, add one to the number of periods and find the amount using the table. Step two, multiply the factor from the table by the periodic deposit to find the future value overstated by one payment. And step three, subtract one payment from this amount. Let's find the amount of this annuity due. Tim Johnson, who works at an oil refinery in Saudi Arabia, asked his employer to put his $450 quarterly retirement contribution into an annuity with National Insurance Company. Assume that the contribution is deposited at the beginning of each quarter for 10 years at 6% interest compounded quarterly. Find the future value of his retirement account. First, we need to find I, the interest rate for period, so I is... 6% divided by 4. 6% divided by 4 is 1 and 1 half percent. And then we need to find N, the number of periods. N is 10 years quarterly, which is 40 periods, but this is an annuity due, so we will add 1, and we will have 41 periods. Next, we will find 1.5% for 41 periods in the table. 
So let's go to the amount of an annuity table. Let's look down the column headed 1.5%. Let's go down to 41. And we get the value 56.08191. We multiply the quarterly contribution, $450, times 56.08191 to obtain $25,236.86. Now, this is the amount of the annuity overstated by one payment. So in step three, we have to subtract one payment. So we have $25,236.86. We subtract $450, which is one payment, and we find the amount of the annuity is $24,786.86. And we also want to find the total interest earned. So the interest earned will be the total contributions which is 40 times 450 eighteen thousand dollars the total contributions are subtracted from the amount of the annuity So that's $24,786.86. Subtract the total contributions of $18,000. And so the interest is $6,786.86. In this section, we have discussed annuities and retirement accounts. Hopefully one day you will have a retirement account. So why don't you try working some problems now? remembering the differences between ordinary annuities and annuity dues.